Good morning, everybody. It's Hannah Opaltree, and welcome back to my channel. It is currently seven o'clock in the morning here at Fir Grove, and I'm so excited to get started with our day because we have quite a bit to do today. Lots of little chores need to be done, as well as many things around the yard. We need to get the chickens and take care of the sheep and also turn out some of our horses. And then later today, I'm pretty sure that we're going to take Rio out for a little hack around the yard. He loves going on hacks. That's like his favorite thing of the day. So we're going to make sure to give him that today. First thing I like to do in the morning is I like to get some breakfast in me and go out to the barn. I checked the weather and today is going to be absolutely beautiful. So I think that we're going to have a pretty good day at the barn today. <laughs> so I'm going to go grab some breakfast and then I'm going to head out to the barn. For breakfast, I had a couple strawberries. So I'm just putting some of them in my bag before I head out to the barn. I realize that I haven't shown you guys my house yet. This is my house. Um, this is where also where my mom takes her clients and helps them figure out what they want to do with their horse and all that fun stuff. So it's also her office and a few other things, which is fun. Um, there's a lot of people in my house, quite a bit. <laughs> but luckily, I'm usually at the barn, so it doesn't really bother me. It is literally such a beautiful day. I can't even get over it. So that's the little cafe where I usually have my breakfast or my lunch or my dinner. Um, my mom does cook, but uh, it's a lot. So I'm really the one who cooks for us when we do have dinner. Um, but she has a lot going on, so I don't blame her. But yeah, that's our little cafe, which is really nice. They have really good coffee and, and brownies. Oh my gosh, their brownies are so good. So I think what we're going to do this morning to kickstart our day. Oh, look at the bird. Hello. Oh my gosh, you looked at me. So I think what we're going to do to start off the day is we're going to go down to the chickens, but we're going to stop by Rio first because I need to um, go and see him. But we're going to run down to the chickens and gather some eggs as well as take care of some of their pellets. Um, I like to clean out the chicken coop a lot just because it gets like really bad in there. Um, so we're going to do that and then we're going to do some other stuff and go ride Rio. And oh my gosh, I also need to really muck out the stalls in there. So this is our lesson barn where most of our lesson horses are. Um, yeah, I need to clean that. So we're going to go clean that after we're done. There's my mom. Um, oh my gosh, that's awful. I need to go clean that. Okay. Good morning, ponies. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Rio always gets so excited when I come in. He like turns and runs to the stall door. Hi, buddy. <laughs> So since I had some strawberries left in my bag, and actually I did look it up, strawberries are perfectly okay for horses to eat, so I just gave him a few before giving him some pats. And I actually have to clean the outdoor barn, so I just grabbed the shovel and the bucket and headed on my way. Sometimes I say that I want you back, but I don't know if I do. So I just finished mucking out the stalls and we're actually about to head down to the chicken coop to go and take care of the chickens and clean out their coop and everything so that they have a nice clean coop for the rest of this week. Um, so we are about to go and head into the golf cart and go down and take care of that. Yes, we have golf carts and they are so helpful. <laughs> Sometimes I think about the good days we had, but they were bad. Here are the chicken shavings or the pellets that we put at the bottom of their coop and I'm just going to grab some of these and take it over to the chickens who are over all the way over there. So let's get to it. So I thought that I would introduce you all to the chickens so I'm going to do that now. So so we have Elfie, Glinda, and Bach and it's really funny because they're actually named after <laughs> Wicked which is a musical that I love but it's really funny because Bach sounds like Bach like the actual chicken sounds so that's why we named him Bach <laughs> we were gonna originally name him Morrible Horrible or Horrible Morrible but then we were like you know what let's name him Bach because it suits him <laughs> So the next thing that I'm going to do before I head back to the barn is I'm going to check up on all of the sheep and make sure that they are all doing okay. One of our sheep actually had periodontitis, which is a gum infection. So we've been checking up on them quite a bit this week just to make sure that none of the others have that issue as well. We've been keeping close eye on it and the vet has come out quite a few times. So hopefully all the sheep will be okay and let's head on over there. Both moved on. Oh, that's la, la, la. 
So I just finished checking up on the sheep and luckily all three of them are totally fine as well as the other sheep that are on the other side of the field. I checked their teeth and made sure that they were all okay and they seemed completely fine. And also you can see the other sheep right over there. There's a couple that are behind that hay bale over there. But yeah, so they are all set and that's actually a big relief. So no vet calls today. <laughs> As you can see from the wonderful buckets behind me, I am now in the feed room. I'm about to feed Rio and Storm, which is my mom's horse. The other horses got fed, so I'm actually going to turn them out after I feed Rio and Storm. Since it's such a beautiful day today, I just thought that the other horses should get a chance to go outside and be in the spring breeze. <laughs> I would want to be turned out if I was in their shoes. Luckily, I'm taking Rio out tonight, so he doesn't need to go out during the day, which is kind of a good thing because I know that if he rolled and he went out, oh, he would be a mess. <laughs> Gotta love greys. So I thought I would quickly stop by the Fergrove Cafe and just get a little lunch since the horses are eating. So we're just going to sit down and have something to eat. So I got a delicious vegetarian sandwich as well as a glass of water because we always have to stay hydrated at the barn. It does get pretty hot in Fergrove, so we have to be careful of the heat and stuff, so we drink a lot of water here. Here's a quick little appreciation moment for how beautiful it is in Fergrove. Can we just take a moment? Since it was starting to get late, I decided to take our hack. Also, he was being really sweet until... Ow. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> anyway, so I'm just taking him outside to tack him because he really likes being outside while being tacked, so that's what we're gonna do. So I just finished tacking up and actually today I wore purple, which I never wear purple. I'm not a fan of purple, but today I was like, you know what? Let's wear freaking purple. <laughs> anyway, we are just about to go on our hack. I actually just changed into my tall boots and there's one more thing I have to change before I can go on my ride. Three, two, one. Wow, now I really am a YouTuber. Anyway, we're gonna hit the trails and go on a hack. I can already feel that he's very happy with me because Rio absolutely adores hacks, like with a burning passion. <laughs> As you can tell, it is absolutely beautiful tonight. Like, oh my goodness. Even Rio's enjoying it. <laughs> so I didn't feel completely comfortable bringing my camera out, so I actually left it at the stables, but my mom said that I could bring our drone, if you are an equestrian that is always outside and always like going on hacks and trail rides and stuff, this is the equipment for you. Get a drone, it's so helpful. 
Here are some clips of our very laid back hack. As you can tell here, Rio got a little bit excited about going back to the barn. When we got back, I quickly untacked Rio after hopping off of him. Excuse my messy hair, I just took it out of a ponytail. I just got back home from the barn and I'm so thankful because I am incredibly tired. We had a really busy day today, but a lot of things had to be done and I'm so glad that we got to do it today and get it finished. I'm about to go make some dinner and then I'm gonna probably take a really long shower and just get all of the barn stuff off of me. So I'm gonna quickly run downstairs and get some dinner and I'll check in with you guys before I go to bed. Alrighty everybody, it is time for bed and I am ready to snuggle into my covers and fall asleep. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for following me around today. I hope that you enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoyed filming it. I had such a fun day at the barn today and I hope that y'all enjoyed watching it. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please leave a like and comment down below what your favorite part was. Thank you so much for following along with today's adventure and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!